I, uh, I used to live in San Francisco. Doesn't mean anything other than I didn't have a job for a long time. <laughs> I love living in San Francisco, though. You cannot have a job there. And all my friends were very PC. They were all very polite. And they'd often ask me, they'd be like, David, <laughs> do you even have a job? <laughs> and I would respond by saying, what the fuck is that supposed to mean? <laughs> and I paid my rent like that for six years. It's a good town. I love San Francisco. I love it because it's very sexually open. I'm from a small town. I'm not used to that. I remember when I first moved to San Francisco, I was hanging out with my friend. He's like a big sex guy. I don't know what the term is. I was hanging out with my friend. And he was bragging to me. He was bragging about it. He was like, bro, fucking it's just my thing. <laughs> Group sex. I don't know how many times. Sometimes I get super bored and only have sex with dudes. And I was like, whoa, that's cool, but crazy. <laughs> like, that's wild. That being said, it's 2019. I'm glad you go both ways with your scumbaggery. <laughs> and I told him, I was like, man, I've really thought about it. I thought about it for real. And I don't think I want to have sex with a man. I don't think that's for me. And he looks me up and down, and he says, huh, he must not like banging that much then. <laughs> That's one of the most incredible things anybody's ever said to me. Because at first, I got super defensive. And I was like, I don't like banging that much? I don't like banging that much. And then I thought about it realistically. I don't like banging that much. I don't. I don't want to have sex with a man. It sounds labor intensive, and I'm not into that. You think about the things you do sexually to a man. Blow job. Hand a job. <laughs> Rim job. <laughs> I've been working my entire life to not have a real job. You think I'm gonna get one so you can come? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Stuff you do to ladies is cool though. Like I eat out on my birthday, it's a good time. <laughs> I'm bad at sex. I'm bad at sex. So are most of you, though. That's how being good at stuff works. For every one LeBron James, there's a hundred of this guy. No disrespect, sir. I just don't think you can bang in the post like that. I get annoyed. Everybody hypes up sex. I think that we should glorify our other qualities. I have other great qualities. I'm an incredible friend. How come that never comes up when I have my dick in my hand? <laughs> it's not the in and out of sex. I'm bad at it. I understand that. It's a pretty simple move. My issue with six is that I'm, I'm bad at multitasking. I'm not a good multitasker. That's not the way that God made me. Like, I was having sex with a woman, she was real, and I uh, <laughs> was having sex with her, and she wanted me to talk dirty. She was like, talk dirty to me, and I was like, no! <laughs> We've been talking all night. I was so good at talking, you let me have sex with you. Can I shut the fuck up for 15 minutes? <laughs> 10 minutes. <laughs> Five minutes, don't joke. She made me keep going, though. She was like, just say something. Say something mean. Be mean. And I was like, I don't want to. And she was like, be mean. And I was like, OK, it smells in here. <laughs> I think that your cat is sick and that we should have gone to my apartment. <laughs> she didn't take that, though. She didn't take it. Can you believe that? She wouldn't take it. She was like, just be loose, be free, just say whatever's crossing your mind. And I'm like, I'm a weird guy, you don't want that. And she was like, just do whatever. So I did, and I yelled, uh, hold the flex back, mama, I'm trying to get wiggly. <laughs> so you know we're getting married. having a good time. This is my job now. This hasn't always been my job, though. I've had various other jobs. I used to work in an office. Are any of you guys office people? 
It's always like the saddest sound a crowd can make. <laughs> you all sound like you're like six sick days away from suicide. <laughs> and I get it, because office work is terrible. We can all agree there's only one highlight to office work. This is obviously cake day. This is the only thing <laughs> worth anything. I used to plan my days off around it. And I remember one time in my office, we were having cake day, and I was getting down doing my thing. Or like I was eating like people eat. And uh, <laughs> my boss comes up to me, she sees me, and she's like, David, I see you're enjoying the cake. Who wouldn't chocoholic right here? But you have to slow down and make sure there's enough for everybody. <laughs> she said that to my face. <laughs> and I'm confrontational, I'm not a punk, so I stood up and I was like, you know what? Fuck you, Linda! At the office Christmas party, you got drunk and made out with like eight interns. Was there enough for everybody to go around then? <laughs> no, there was not, because I was ninth in line. <laughs> then I dipped my nuts in the punch bowl and walked out. <laughs> so I was unemployed for a while. <laughs> I like being unemployed. It's hard though, you gotta keep yourself busy. You gotta find fun games to play when you're unemployed. Uh, my favorite game to play is I like to wake up real early. I wake up at like six o'clock in the morning and I drink a bunch of alcohol and pretend I'm camping. <laughs> Why do you get to get so drunk when you're camping? Why is that allowed? Like 360 days of the year, your Uncle Jim is an alcoholic, but at the lake, he's just fun Uncle Jim who's gonna teach you how to ride a jet ski on land. <laughs>